Welcome back everyone. So reInvent is just coming to an end. There'll be some huge announcements this week. Uh, and one of my favorites is Frontier Agents. Now Frontier Agents is a new breed of AI agent that can run autonomously for hours and days. Yes, I said days potentially. Remember, right now with agents, we have to keep prompting them. They stop for, for, they ask us questions and we have to keep continuing to prompt them and prompt them. They can usually operate within a specific context or a specific session. When we're talking about frontier-based agents, a new breed of agent, we're talking about understanding the context across multiple sessions, being able to do fully autonomous tasks across huge number of repositories. So we're talking at scale without intervention. So one of my favorite frontier agents right now is gonna be the Kira Autonomous Agent. And that's because I'm a heavy user of Kira. So the Kira Autonomous Agent, um, so right now, if you think about how things work, autonomous agent, when I use Kero, I have to keep prompting it and reminding it of the context. And then you always get these uh, areas where it says, you know, the session has gone on for too long. Do you want to let me summarize, continue? So there's always this intervention required by you as the human. Now, with Kero autonomous agents, you can give it tasks that span across multiple repositories, uh, like a, a simple task that will, will impact multiple repositories, for example. And the Kira Autonomous Agent will go in there and actually plan out the execution of what it needs to do and make the changes across all of those Git repositories or those or GitHub repositories, and then even have everything ready for your code review when you come back in the morning. So we're talking about potentially running overnight without intervention, so hours and days, and that is a game changer in software development, trust me. I'm a heavy user, like I said, I'm a pro user of Kero, um, and I'll be looking forward to utilizing that across some of my repositories outside of my day job. Now the next frontier agent is the AWS security agent. Now think about this, you're in your, you've got this huge development lifecycle ongoing. How about having a security agent that can help ensure that your application is secure throughout the whole life cycle, the whole development life cycle, and then be able to react quickly if there's some kind of issue that arises during that process or after that process and be able to help you resolve that, give you some code remediation and so on and so on. We're talking about being able to ensure that you build secure applications across AWS, across multi-cloud, across hybrid cloud from the start and not just having to add security in as a measure or a check or a review later on down that process. So the AWS security agent is another big one. Uh, and I can assure you that there will be huge amounts of number of organizations that will be utilizing this uh, frontier agent going forward. Like I said, building security into your application during the development life cycle from the start across AWS, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, you name it, right? And then we're also talking about bringing in pen testing on demand when you need it, being able to move alongside the development teams. This is like an extension of your development team. Again, security, AWS security agent, one of the second frontier agents that's coming out. Now there's a third one. Let's talk about that. Now the third agent is the AWS DevOps agent. We're gonna drop it in right there. So think about that person that's always there monitoring um, DevOps, monitoring your systems for any form of outage or incident. There's always someone around to actually help you resolve that, especially when they're critical scenarios or critical incidents. That's what the DevOps agent does. It's ready, it's ready to go. It's monitoring it for any incidents. It understands how your application works and all the moving parts of that, all the different components and the way they interact to help you figure out the root cause of any incident. So it's there 24 hours a day running against your systems. It understands, you know, uh, all of your observability, for example, if it's Amazon CloudWatch, Dynatrace, Datadog, Splunk, it knows about your code repositories. It understands all the different repositories you have deployed. It understands your CI CD pipeline. Amazon utilizes the AWS DevOps agent internally to handle thousands and thousands of incidents with an 86% remediation rate. Just think about that for a second. So it's there, it's reactive, it's firefighting for you. It understands your full application and all of the moving parts of that to help you resolve that incident and find a solution. It can also analyze historical incidents and so on over a period of time to help you be proactive in terms of uh, making suggested changes and stuff to your system to minimize incidents uh, that could potentially occur in the future. So not just being proactive, 
not just being reactive, we're talking about being proactive by historical analysis as well. Another game changer. That's the third frontier agent uh, that was announced at Amazon reInvent, uh, AWS reInvent in 2025. So the Kira Autonomous Agent, which is my favorite, and I will be using that, uh, and the AWS Security Agent, and the AWS DevOps Agent. Thanks for watching, sub the channel, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.